Hi, welcome back to Pretty Well. We're doing pretty well and we hope you are too. I'm Dr. Angela. I'm Dr. Patty. And in this video, we're gonna focus on brain health. Lots of great ways to keep our brain functioning really well. So brain health means everything from your mood to focus to better memory. And Concentration. Yes, absolutely. And also don't forget that our brain is connected to all these other nerves in our body. So peripheral neuropathy as well, which means if you've got numbness or tingling or burning sensations um, in your limbs or throughout your body, that can be due to you know nervous system issues. Yeah, and even like balance and proprioception, those mm -hmm. kinds of things too. So a wonderful treatment to begin with is more lifestyle or mm -hmm. movement activity type changes and doing new activities. And this includes mental as well as physical. So Dr. Angela just mentioned balance and proprioception. Mm -hmm. So if you are not someone who's ever done yoga, it would be great to try something like that. Um, it will be wonderful for helping with coordination and balance mm -hmm. or maybe something like tennis. Mm -hmm. Hand-eye coordination is also really great for helping the brain communicate with the muscles in your body and make more of those connections and strengthen the brain. Mm -hmm. So really trying new activities. Um, if you ha are somebody who has done crossword puzzles their whole life or for 40 years, then maybe that's not the new activity for you. Just because <laughs> because if you've been doing it for a long time, you're not creating any new neural pathways. Yeah, there's in not your as brain. much stimulation. So we exactly. want things that are really gonna challenge new areas for you. Now, if I did a crossword puzzle, <laughs> I would be firing like crazy in my brain, all sorts of lights going on in there <laughs> trying to create new neuronal pathways, because my brain would be like what is happening? <laughs> You've never done a crossword puzzle in your life. So I probably should start doing them and then switch to something else. And, and other activities that help with balance, coordination, and exercise in general yeah. will help to oxygenate the whole body and the brain. So activity and deep breathing. So breathing obviously happens during exercise and yoga is a great you know form of doing deep breathing as well. But um, anytime you can actually do deep abdominal breathing will also bring a lot of oxygen to the brain. Yeah, we really want to work on circulation. We can't emphasize it enough. It's really important for brain health. So in terms of diet, nutrition, um, we really want to focus on a lot of fat and a lot of hydration because the brain is made up of a lot of fat and water. And so I feel like hydration is a really easy one that gets overlooked a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so in general, about half of our body weight in ounces of water per day is appropriate. So if somebody weighs 200 pounds, at least 100 ounces of water. And if we're having anything that's dehydrating, so it could be coffee, green tea, alcohol of any kind, anything that's a diuretic, we really want to make sure we're replacing water in addition. So at least one-to-one -one replacement, if not more, for those caffeinated or alcoholic beverages. And then in terms of the fat, um, you know, from a diet standpoint, if you've heard of the ketogenic diet, that was a diet that was originally assigned for people who had neurologic problems. So people who were mm -hmm. epileptics or had serious neurodegenerative issues, and it's still a wonderful diet choice for brain health. Um, you know, if you don't resonate as much with ketogenic diet principles, you could definitely do more of Whole30 or Paleo style eating. So, you know, just higher protein and fat, lower carbohydrate intake. And if, you know, you're somebody who those diets still don't resonate for you, at the very least, keeping sugar intake very low and refined flours, that's key for brain health. Um, so that's from the, you know, overall diet standpoint. And then in terms of, you know, supplements that are high fat, that are very healthy for the brain, thinking about omega-3 fatty acids, so things like fish oils, um, flax seeds are also a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. And then, you know, coconut oil is also a wonderful source of fuel for the brain, or you could do straight up MCT oil that comes from coconut oil. So those are some of the nutritional pieces to talk about with brain health. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. And so there are some great herbs that can help with brain memory, focus, mm -hmm. mood, concentration. Mm -hmm. And a few of my favorite herbs include one called bacopa. And I was first introduced to bacopa when I was in med school. And I remember studying for finals and being a little bit scattered and stressed and anxious and taking a bacopa. And it really helped me with my focus in that moment. Mm -hmm. So I've used it a lot with patients and find it very helpful. helpful. And Another one, it's not technically an herb, it's actually a mushroom, but it's called lion's mane. Mm -hmm. And it's also great for memory and mood. 
and it's you can find it in a lot of health food stores now so that would be another one to try and ginkgo mm -hmm. and go to cola mm -hmm. are two other herbs that are helpful for boosting circulation to the brain helping with memory and mood so those are some herbal options yeah those are all really great choices that can be super helpful and then if you want a few other recommendations to try from a supplement standpoint um, b12 i think most of us know about and you can take it orally sublingually you can get it injected very helpful and then you can also take the whole b complex family um, important to get you know good quality b complex and so, you know, folate versus folic acid will definitely put some specific recommendations for you in the description box as usual, so you can check that out. And then some other ones, um, acetyl L-carnitine is wonderful. And then alpha lipoic acid is really great for all nerves. And so peripherally, your brain as well. And then another one too you could try is vinpocetine. That's also a really great one. So give these all a try. If you have stories you want to share with the community, please feel free to leave those comments here. Like and share mm -hmm. with anybody you feel like this would be useful for. And if you want to get updated anytime we upload new content, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon.